In word and deed, members of the U.S. House of Representatives sending the message with Ukrainian flags on the House floor that they support sending $61 billion to Ukraine. A huge number of Republican members, 112, voted against giving money and weapons to Ukraine. You know, we have the false choice of either saying that Ukraine doesn't matter to America or support Ukraine with no question asked, with blank checks. And both these positions are not good in our national interest. The bill is passed. Sending $17 billion to Israel and $9 billion to the Palestinians proved divisive as well. It passed, but 21 Republicans voted no, along with 37 Democrats. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Many criticizing Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. His actions have not led to, to the release of the remaining hostages. He's ignored the pleas of the families of hostages. He's ignored the pleas of the President of the United States. He's ignored his own people. He's engaged in self-preservation. We should not be sending offensive weapons to Israel right now. Activists are warning President Joe Biden that if he signs the legislation, he will pay a political price. This is taking away any leverage President Biden might have to get Netanyahu to pull back on invading Rafa or killing more innocent people. $8 billion easily passed for Taiwan, and so did a bill that would allow the U.S. to increase sanctions on Iran, allow the Biden administration to seize Russian assets, and ban TikTok in the U.S., unless its Chinese owners sell the company. Now these bills go to the Senate, which is expected to pass them, and then the president is expected to sign it. Pentagon officials tell me that once it is signed, they can start getting weapons into Ukraine in a matter of days. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.